We're going to look now at an animation of a simulation that I hope will fix in your mind the interpretation of a confidence interval as something like the outcome of a process. The analogy is to a physical process where we reach into a bag and draw out at random a 95% confidence interval and then see whether or not it covers the population mean. If we repeat this process a large number of times, then the probability of including the population mean will be 0.95. We're actually only going to look at 100 draws out of the bag, so we really wouldn't expect the empirical proportion that we find to be exactly 0.95. Drawing 100 is, is nowhere uh, near large enough uh, to guarantee that we get exactly something in that region but hopefully it will be uh, roughly uh, there or thereabouts. We could of course increase the number of draws so that we can get arbitrarily close to 0 0.95, but that would slow up the animation really quite a lot and your experience would be as interesting as watching paint dry on a wall. So let's get going. Let's highlight our code here, run it, and then hopefully in the plot window. You can see the animation running here. We've got the population mean here. The grey confidence intervals are the ones that cover or include the population mean. The red ones are confidence intervals that we've drawn that don't include the population mean. We can see up here a running uh, count of the proportion that are covering the or including the population mean. We seem to be doing quite well at the moment. 60, 80, so we're almost there. And there we go. Well, how about that? <laughs> Rather surprisingly, we get exactly five confidence intervals that do not include the population mean and 95 that do. I can't guarantee that if you would run this simulation again yourself you'll get exactly that result, most likely you won't, um, but uh, the luck of the draw this time uh, meant that we got exactly the result that we expected.